Thank you. Um, I'm pleased to support this amendment from Ms. Sanchez, um, repealing a tax that Democrats and Republicans agree doesn't work. Um, the Cadillac tax is a perfect example of how we could be working together to make targeted improvements to our health care laws, um, rather than the damaging changes that we're considering today. The original design of the Cadillac tax was intended to be a narrowly targeted tax on the most, quote, extravagant, end quote, plans in order to rein in out of control health care costs. Instead, this tax will hit working families because of a variety of factors beyond their control, like age, geography, or occupation. As written, the Cadillac tax would kick in for families at double the rate of individual plans. And what we've learned, though, is that families' costs are often much more than double those of individuals. So it's left to working families and children to carry an outsized share of the tax burden. And we all know this is wrong. So we should be working together now to repeal this tax as we've been working on before. Um, unfortunately, we're debating a bill that does nothing to improve access to care or curb costs in the health care system. We're not fixing what needs to be fixed. We're impacting working families across our country. And Mr. Chairman, I also would like to submit for the record a letter from the AFL-CIO supporting um, our efforts to um, repeal the Cadillac tax from this legislation, and I ask that it be included in the record. Without objection. Thank you. Um, so I encourage my colleagues to support this amendment, and I yield back to Ms. Sanchez.